Hi guys, welcome to Roza. So look at this next set of quant bridge puzzle. A bit tricky one. Uh, so just uh, try this for 10-15 minutes. If you can do it, it's well and good. Otherwise, see the solution. Okay. So let's uh, let's see this. Okay. So let's look at the set, guys. So uh, I hope you've tried this set for at least 10-15 minutes before so before seeing solution here. Okay. Then only it will help you. So the set says that in a group of nine persons, each one of them were asked to write the sum of the ages of the other eight persons. The numbers given by those nine persons formed the following set. So set A is equal to 312, 313, 314, 315, 316, 7, 8, 18 and 19. Okay. So if you observe here, there are only eight numbers here. There are only eight numbers here. Right. That basically means that, but it's, it says that this, uh, they have written the sum of the ages of all the other eight persons. No. So they have written the sum of ages of other eight persons. So that nine persons should give nine data, right? Or nine numbers here. But in the set, it says that they have formed the following set of only eight numbers. That means any one number must be repeating two times. So any one numbers, any one number must be repeating two times here, right? Then only it, it would have app. It is possible that if nine persons say the there's nine data here, so only set is formed with only eight data, right? Eight numbers here. So and it, it this question doesn't say that any data is missing. That means one number must be repeated here. That's the funda. Okay. So now we have the uh, nine people here in this case. So let this nine people they let the let, let their ages be a one, a two, a three. A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, and A9. So these are the ages of the nine people I've assumed here. Okay. So now let's uh, look at the next. So in the next slide, we'll just solve this question. Okay. So let's make the equations here. So what will happen now? So the person A1 will say the name of the other eight people. Correct? No. So the person A1 will say the name of the other eight people, right? So what are the, what are the age of other eight people that will be a two plus a three plus a four plus a five plus a six plus a seven plus a eight plus a nine. Correct. This is age said by a one. Then this next person a two will see the age of the other eight person that is a one plus a three. So next, let me write for next person is here a two. So next person whose age is a two here. He will say the age of the other eight persons, right? That is A1, A3, then A4, then A5, then A6, then A7, then A8, and then A9. Huh. Then the third person A3 here will say the age for the other eight persons here. Okay. So what is the age for the other eight persons like A1 plus A2? Now A3 will not write here because A3 is saying the age of the other eight persons. Same happened with A1 and A2 here. So A1 plus A2 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 plus A7 plus A8 plus A9, right? I hope you got the funda, what I'm writing here. Right? So you need not write all the equations here. So now similarly, we'll come for the ninth equation. The last person is A9. The last person will be A9. So what A9 will say? So A9 will say the age of the other eight persons. That is A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 plus a7 plus a8 correct this is said by here this is the a this is said by these all persons huh here now let's add all the data and if i add all the data here so now we have got nine different equations here so we have got nine different equations and i can add all the nine data here right so now obviously if you observe that the a1 will come a time eight times a1 a2 huh? like for except first equation a1 is coming eight times so it is eight a1 now if you observe a2 so in all the nine equations except second equation where a2 the person having is a age a2 it's saying the age of the other eight people right so in that a2 won't come and in all the other equations a2 will come so it is eight a2 Similarly, A3 in the third equation, A3 will not come. Otherwise, out of nine equations in one equation, A3 will not come. In all the other equations, A3 will come. So like, like that, it will happen to be 8A9. 
and now this is equal to what here so let's say that i don't now if i add up all the data so i don't know which in which order it is said but somebody said 312 somebody said 313 somebody said 314 like that ha huh. and there are eight now i told there are eight numbers here and one number it is i don't know any one number is repeated i don't know which number is repeated here right so now let's say that num the nine numbers inside are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 and one more number is here x okay so one missing number let's call it here x not missing number i should say one repeated number i should call here x okay so if i add up all this so now my data will be now 300 has occurred eight eight times so 2400 this summation here plus 12 13 25 39 54 70 87 105 124 ah and the ninth age will be ninth person age uh, what he has told age that will be x so total will be equal to 2524 plus x so i can write here a1 plus a2 plus a3 till added to a9 the value will be equal to 2524 plus x divided by 8 correct no now i know that because all the ages are integral so this value also has to be integer so for this whole to be integer for this whole to be integer what i can say here that the numerator 2524 plus x should be a multiple of 8 if numerator is a multiple of 8 that means of dividing by 8 remainder should be 0 so if any multiple of 8 any multiple of 8 divided by 8 remainder is 0 I can say that two five two four, and I I know that x has to be among any of these nine values here. Sorry, eight values here. So any remainder here. Okay, so I want any value of x by eight remainder should be zero. If I see two five two four by eight, so remainder is four. If you solve, so two five two five two four by eight remainder is four. That means x by eight also remainder should be four. Then four plus four eight eight by eight remainder should be zero. That means x among these numbers should be a number. Says that x by eight remainder should be four. If I check among these values, if I check with three one two, so three one two divided by eight remainder is zero. I know that is the first value here, but I want remainder of four. That means I should add four here. So three one two plus four should be three one six. So if the number is three one six, that means three one six divided by eight remainder is four. That means for sure the value of x has to be three one six. I got the value of x to be. Three one six. Okay, so now I'll get the sum of all the nine ages. Okay, so that means now I'll be getting here sum of all the nine ages. That is, what is the value of a one plus a two till a nine? So that is equal to two five two four plus three one six. That is plus three one six divided by eight. This is equal to fifty. Uh, so sorry, two eight four zero divided by eight should be equal to three fifty five. Take it. It should be equal to 355 so 355 is the sum of all the nine ages right that is sum of all the nine ages so i now i can say that if sum of all the ages are 312 so now what i can say here guys see here if sum of all the ages are 912 that means 312 okay what is the value of a1 then so nine ages sum 355 and eight ages sum 312 so one age should be 43 Three fifteen five minus three fifty three one two. It should be forty three. The other value a two should be three fifty five minus three thirty. That should be forty two. The other values a three should be forty one. That is three fifty five minus three thirteen is forty. Uh, yes, correct. Three fourteen minus three fifty five minus three forty is forty one. Then a four will be equal to three fifty five minus three fifteen is forty because all these are. All these are age sum of the ages of eight people. All these are sum of the ages of eight people here, right? So if all these are sum of the ages of the eight people, okay. So I can subtract that from nine people to get the age of individual people here, okay. Similarly, if you if you see here, so a four is forty. Now similarly, it is three one six. So now a five will be equal to thirty nine because this is thirty nine. And now x has also becomes three one six. That means one more age here is thirty nine. Okay, so I'll let let's let's write at the end here. So now a six will be equal to what? Three fifty five minus three seventeen is thirty nine. Uh, sorry, 
is uh, 40 is done uh, 39 is done so 38 355 minus 370 is 38 355 minus 318 is 37 and 355 minus 319 is 36 a8 is 36 and similarly a9 is for x so a9 is for x the value of a9 will be x is 316 so 355 minus 316 is 39 so we got all the ages here and 39 being repeated twice okay so now let's we can uh, let's answer the, all the questions here yeah we can answer all the questions now okay Now it says that what is sum of ages of all the nine people? So sum of ages of all the nine people, I can write the answer as as uh, three uh, 355. So 355 is sum of age of all the nine people. Okay. What is the age of the youngest person? Okay, so the age of youngest person is equal to I got as th uh, 31 in the last slide. I got as 355 minus uh, 319 that is equal to 36. Correct. Now, what is the age of the eldest person in the group? So, eldest person I got 355 minus 312, 43. Correct? Okay. Okay, fourth question. So, it is given that eight people in the group have different integral ages. Then, what is the age of the ninth person? So, I saw that the value of x is equal to 39 for the ninth person. So, 39 is the answer. Okay. That's how you solve this set. A uh, good tricky set of it because seeing the eight numbers initially, you can't, uh, many people can't judge how to attack this set. Okay, so we should know how to solve such set. Okay, so hope you liked it. Thank you. And also, also this combat, guys. Okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay. So the easy questions are, are not asked here. So it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts. Okay. And uh, uh, this from this Sunday onwards, it is in basically revised format. So basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now. So in January, February and March, we were like away. Uh, we are around eight to 10 months away from cat. So the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level range, but this from down onwards, the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrda sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this is one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier, it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this, I think, okay? So rank one, two, three, one year subscription, I think around 20,000 or 75% scholarship or 50% or so, 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 great prizes are on offer here, okay? So get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, so ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at 12 p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday give this on 12 p.m. Thank you.